This is a South Dakota Department of Transportation video update on the construction progress of the I-90 Exit 14 project at Spearfish, South Dakota for the week of August 1st, 2017. I'm Brian Leslie. Well, this is our pre-rally rally report and work will continue this week on a fast track pace until Friday, August 4th. On that date, most work will either be suspended or slowed quite a bit for the rally, resuming once again full speed on about August 14th. Now, during rallies, some projects are going to continue, but um, operations that impede traffic flow will be suspended. So on that note, both lanes of I-90 will be open in each direction beginning August the 2nd. As always, patience and caution will be required in moving through the work zone this year. And with, of course, the construction on North 27th, it's gonna be extra important this year to be patient and to be on the lookout for the bikes during rally. Also, coming up, need to tell you about this, there will be a four week long truck and RV detour coming up on 27th Street at the intersection of First Avenue after the rally. If your vehicle is more than 20 feet long and or seven feet wide, you'll need to use the detour and that goes for uh, trucks and anyone in an RV or a fifth wheel. The detour will be assigned to this route as you can see and we'll have more on this discussed at a public meeting August 3rd at 530 at Spearfish City Hall Chambers and that is open to the public. And also we're going to have a special video update on this particular uh, detour and that'll be coming out in about another day. Again, this detour will be for approximately four weeks beginning August 14th after the rally. And the reason for the detour is the construction of the intersection at 27th Street and 1st Avenue. Well, speaking of 27th Street, grading is now complete on the east half. And of course, as you can see, paving work has already begun. Uh, before rally, the intersections at Platinum Drive here and at 1st Interstate Bank here and at the entrance to the Hampton Inn Quality Inn here, they have hard surfaces now completed using asphalt patches, so all the loose gravel has been removed prior to rally. Paving work will continue during rally, though, as traffic volumes do permit. The girders for the new overpass have now been all set in place. Uh, the final one of the 15 25-ton girders was lifted into its place on schedule on July 28th. Um, the DOT does appreciate your patience during the overnight detours that were needed to accomplish this. Uh, placing the decking has now begun and will continue during rally with reinforcing steel work to follow just a little bit later this month. Also grading is almost complete for the westbound on-ramps. Uh, gravel work here will continue during rally again as traffic volume does allow. Work is winding down on Colorado Boulevard. Joint sealing and striping should be done prior to rally, opening things up for traffic. Some work will take place though during rally in the morning hours when traffic is light and then operations that impede traffic flow will be shut down once traffic does pick up. The remaining work does include a few small repairs, uh, finishing sidewalks and the bike path. Even as the work does begin to wind down for the rally, uh, of course traffic will be increasing. So again, be patient. Be aware of construction activity, be watching for the bikers, and always do slow down through the work zones. This $28 million project is still on track to be substantially complete yet this year. And here's a fun fact for you. $28 million sounds, sounds like a lot, and, and it is, but just consider this. The cost of Exit 14 would have paid for 18 minutes of the latest Spider-Man movie. In other words, Spider-Man Homecoming would have built six of these interchanges. I guess superheroes don't come cheap these days. Construction updates for this project can be found at these following locations as they do become available. Public meetings are held every Thursday at 2 p.m. at Hudson Hall in Spearfish. And once again, the DOT and the prime contractor do thank you uh, for your patience during rally in this particularly busy time. And as always, we thank you for watching our reports. Please be safe.